Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I did a video, but oh, this month has just been crazy with uh, my master's degree and everything else. It's just been really busy. But I realised I don't think I've shown you the new setup here for Buffy the Vampire Slayer and a bit of Penny Dreadful, as you can see there. So I thought I would film an updated Buffy the Vampire Slayer collection, especially seen as my boyfriend is watching it with me. It's his first time watching it and he's, in, he's loving it. We're on season three at the moment. So yeah, I thought I'd update you guys on my Buffy collection. Uh, I hope that you're interested in that. I've got some really interesting stuff coming up as well. But again, I don't know how long it will take to get that content out to you, but there's a couple of collabs coming, including a collab from me on somebody else's channel, which is exciting. So without further ado, I will get on and show you the updated Buffy collection. So just before we do, this top bit is reserved for my new Penny Dreadful collection. This has only just started, pretty much. I watched Penny Dreadful this year. There's a couple of books missing from here that are downstairs, but apart from that, this is pretty much my full collection. And if you watched my Forbidden Planet haul, this is the comic that was missing from that haul. I said that something was missing. It was this comic that is signed. As you can see, it has turned up. So onto the first shelf, as you can see, is it, it is incredibly dark. So I'm going to pull stuff out so you can see it better. So first up we have my Faith figurine, just a tiny figure here. I think this is Eagle Moss. Uh, yes it is. I have some Eagle Moss Game of Thrones stuff and also some Batman stuff and I think Harry Potter. I'm sure Eagle Moss did Harry Potter but anyway this is my Faith. She is of course my favourite character. Then we have a Buffy temporary tattoo. We have this Game Boy Colour game, unfortunately without a box. This 20 Years of Slaying keyring. A limited edition trading card here. I'll get onto my trading cards as we go along. But on the back, if you can see that, it says 4 of 4 Wizard World Chicago 2000 exclusive. I don't know exactly how rare they are. I just picked it up on eBay for a couple of pounds, to be honest. We have a sealed packet of these sugar puff things. I can't remember what they're called, but um, I think they were only in America. I can't remember them being released in the UK, but you'll have to let me know if they were. Again, these are just some things that I picked up on eBay. We have, of course, the Pez Witch that Willow uh, receives from Oz. Super, super cute. Not official Buffy merchandise, of course, but in my opinion, no collection is complete without one if you can find one for a good price. Actually, mine cost quite a bit because I had to get it from America. I'm still looking for the Harry Potter Pezzes, but you just can't find them in the UK. I have this Vampire Drusilla um, ornament. What do you call them? Um, Christmas tree ornament. Um, this is from more collectible collectibles. I can't speak today. I only have two of these. I'll show you the other one I have a little bit later. Uh, I'd love to get the full set, but again, they can be quite expensive to find now. I have these Buffy the Vampire Slayer earrings, and I should mention here that some of my Buffy stuff has been a gift from Ian, and some of it has been a gift from Claire, and I can't actually remember, guys, what you have gifted me over the time, so please feel free to let me know. Um, I have a feeling these were a gift, but I just can't remember who from. I'm very sorry. Then we have my Top Trumps, so we have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer ones. If you don't know, Top Trumps are a card game that you play with two players. I think you can play with more, but I think it's traditionally two players. And there's basically a set of skills on the card, and whoever's got the highest skill wins the game. That's a really short explanation of it, but I'm sure you know what Top Trumps are. And I also have the Angel Top Trumps. Next up, I have this Buffy the Vampire Slayer tin. This is empty. I can't remember what came with this. So if you know, then please let me know. But again, I think it's just something I picked up on eBay. So we're going to make a start on the Buffy books. And I have quite a few, so I'm going to try and get through them very quickly. This collection's sort of 10, maybe older, 10 older years in the making. That doesn't make sense, does it? Um, and I don't want anyone to think that I'm, you know, bragging or anything like that because it's took me a long time to get this collection and other people's collections are insane. Mine is nowhere near as big as some people's. But yeah, let's get on with the books because there's quite a few. First up, How I Survived My Summer Vacation, Volume 1. The Angel Chronicles, Volume 3. The Angel Chronicles, Volume 2. As you can see, these are not in order. Wicked Willow 2, Shattered Twilight. Doomsday Deck. Night of the Living Rerun, The Lost Slayer Part 3, Return to Chaos, Soul Trade, this is an angel book, Oz Into the Wild, Halloween Rain, The Journals, oh that's fell, <laughs> The Journals of Rupert Giles, Volume 1, My Very Badly, um, tan tan I can't even speak, My Very Badly Damaged <laughs> a copy of Spark and Burn, this was always my favourite when I was younger, The Angel Chronicles, Volume 1, 
The Lost Slayer Part 4, another Angel book, Impressions, a Stake Your Destiny book called Keep Me In Mind, another Angel book, Haunted, the Quotable Slayer, this is a soft cover, as you will see as we move on I do also have the hardback of this, Mortal Fear, a Buffy and Angel crossover book, The Burning, well Unseen, The Burning, Ghost Roads, which is book two of the Gatekeeper trilogy, another Buffy and Angel crossover, Unseen, this time it's The Long Way Home, Sins of the Father, The Wisdom of War, Hollywood Vampire, a revised and updated unofficial and unauthorised guide to Angel, Sons of Entropy, which is book three of the Gatekeeper trilogy, Immortal, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer pop quiz book, The Book of Fours, another Angel book, Hollywood Noir, the second and unlast book, and unlast, the second and last book in the Unseen trilogy, Door to Alternity, Wicked Willow One, The Darkening, Angel Vengeance, and Angel Shakedown. That is the last book on this shelf, so we'll move on to other things and come back to books later. Next on that shelf I have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Rainy Day Activity book and some random Buffy postcards that I keep in here so I'll just flick through them as quickly as I can for you. But again these were either gifts or eBay purchases, something like that. I think a lot of these came from a postcard book but I'm not sure. Again I'm not going to go into too much detail because the video would be far too long so I'm just going to flick through them as quickly as I can for you. So I don't know how many I'm missing, I really don't know. And there are a couple of doubles in here as well. Ah, oh, Faith, my favourite. <laughs> That's all of those. Moving on we have my little master figure and this is a Titans figure. I believe I have a couple of Game of Thrones Titans figures as well. But this is my only Buffy the Vampire Slayer Titans figure so far. We have the Willow wrapper for the chocolate bars. I don't have a chocolate bar unfortunately. We have a couple of miscellaneous cards here from the card game. So I'll just flick through those super quickly for you. I don't even know if they're part of the same set. And we also have a random playing card. I have a couple of stickers here. Again, these were either, give, either given as gifts or freebies from purchases. We have one of my favourite items, which is this Buffy and Angel glass. And there's the back of that, a stunning photo of Buffy there. We have one of the oldest items in my collection, which is this Buffy the Vampire Slayer cup. I can remember having this when I was younger, so I don't know how long I've actually had this for. We also have a rather gammy and disgusting lollipop um, that has clearly split and gone everywhere. It's one of the Chubba Chubbs lollipops. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to keep it or throw it out because it's gone really gross. And we have another lolly here. I will not be opening it because it's very, very old. This one has Spike on it. We have this loose Faith figure. Now, I normally don't collect the figures loose. I have got a figure, well, a small figure wall, which I'll show you soon. Uh, nowhere near as big as Ian's. Um, so yeah, normally I get the figures carded, but this one was on eBay for quite cheap, so I couldn't resist. And we have my second Buffy mug, which is this one. I don't know if any of these mugs came with the Easter eggs, because I know there were some Easter egg mugs. I don't think mine did, to be honest, but I can't remember. Now, I know this was from Claire's. We have an empty can and it has Xander on it. I don't know anything about these drinks because I imagine they were only in America. I've never seen them here in the UK. Okay, back onto books for a bit. We have this really large volume which contains Ghoul Trouble, Crossings, Sweet Sixteen and Little Things. Apologies it's quite dark here but we've got The Girls Got Bite, the unofficial guide to Buffy's world, The Wicked Willow Omnibus, The Lost Slayer which is unfortunately missing its dust jacket, Tales of the Slayer Volume 1, The Willow Files Volume 2, Primeval, Blooded, Blood and Fog, Unnatural Selection, Another Angel Book, This Time Redemption, Paleo, Obsidian Fate, The Gatekeeper Trilogy Book 1, Out of the Madhouse, I really need to put these in order, Another Buffy and Angel Crossover, This Time Cursed, Chaos Bleeds, which is based on the video game, which you will see a little bit later on, Coyote Moon, Visitors, Slayer, an expanded and updated unofficial and unauthorised guide to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie novel, one of the only Buffy movie things I have in my collection because I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I really don't like the movie. I have to appreciate that it's what started it all though, but it's just not my cup of tea. We have Not Forgotten, another angel one. Another angel book, this time Bruja. 
another Angel book, City of. A very battered copy of Spike and Drew, Pretty Maids All in a Row. Again, this is one of my all-time favourites. The Faith Trials Volume 1, again quite battered because of course I loved this one. The Harvest, Here Be Monsters. Next up we have Witchery, which is actually not a Buffy or Angel novel. It is a Ghosts of Albion novel, but they are written by Amber Benson, who played Tara, and Christopher Golden, who's wrote a lot of the Buffy books. Now, I haven't actually read this series, so please let me know what you think of it if you have. As part of that same series, I also have Accursed. So I don't even know how many books there are in this series, because like I said, I've never read them. Then we have yet another Buffy and Angel crossover, this time Monster Island. And finally, for this shelf, my favourite one, Go Ask Malice. I adore this book. Onto the third shelf, we have these stickers that came free with a purchase. This is my favourite Buffy book of all time, The Making of a Slayer. I would love to do a review on this. I don't know if I have on my channel already, but if I haven't, I really, really need to. This book is just incredible. I have a script from The Freshman, a script from Band Candy, and a script from Revelations. I believe I got those three from someone that actually worked on Buffy, but I can't quite remember because I know I've got a few Harry Potter like scripty bits as well. So I can't quite remember where they came from, but as far as I'm aware, they are straight from the set. I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer panel to panel, and I haven't actually uh, read all of this yet, but it's absolutely incredible. It's all about the comic books and just beautiful, beautiful illustrations in there. I have the annual from 2004 and the annual from 2005. I have the script book season two, volume one, the script book season two, volume two, the essential angel, of course, the once more with feelings script book, my favorite or one of my favorite episodes of all time. I love musicals as well, so it was just perfect for me. Of course, the Sunnydale High yearbook. I see this in a lot of people's collections and rightly so, it's wonderful. The Watcher's Guide, volume two. Again, these are brilliant, brilliant books and I'd highly encourage you to try and get them if you can. Angel The Case Files, Volume 1, The Watcher's Guide, Volume 3, The Monster Book. This is honestly one of my favourites. As you can imagine, as the title suggests, it is literally every single monster or close to every single monster that's ever appeared in Buffy with details about them, and it's just amazing. The Buffy Chronicles, The Complete Slayer, which is an unofficial guide to every episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is very similar to the one I showed you before, but I think this is an updated version. And the 1999 to 2000 Student Planner, which again is really, really cool. I kind of wish I had this when I was in school. So that's it for books for now. There are some more books as we go along, but we're going to take another break from books again and move on to other things. So next up is my trading cards, which I keep in this random binder. <laughs> We'll flick through these very, very quickly because there's a lot to get through. So this is the Full Women of Sunnydale base set. Again, I have done videos in more detail on these if you wanted to have a look at them. Then we have a couple of the other cards that go with the set, including this Peaceworks Drusilla piece, which is one of my favourites. I managed to get that at a local Comic-Con for £15, which I thought was a bargain. We have the Spike uh, Complete Collection, I think it's called, the Complete Story set. This is the base set again, a full base set. I think I've got a couple of other cards that go with this set as well, but I haven't actually completed a full, full set yet. But yes, we have a couple of random autograph cards here. Some of these are from different sets and a couple of costume cards. So we have a Jasmine costume card, a Spike costume card, a uh, Andrew costume card, and a couple of autographs there from Angel. Moving on, we have the Big Bad set. A lovely bright orange, it's a very striking set. Again, I'll try and get through them as quickly as I can for you. We have the, oh dear, is it season three set? Yep, the premium season three set. Again, I think I've got all the base cards for this and nothing else. And I think this is still, yep, still the same set, I believe. And I believe that's a random promo card. So that's all my trading cards, minus a few autograph cards, which we'll get to. Then I have the board game, but I've never actually played it because I don't have anyone to play it with. <laughs> Next up we have this box, which is very beat up and scratched, and it is full of Buffy and Angel comics. Also inside there is this Forbidden Planet 20 Years of Slaying bag. 
So there's quite a few of these and I don't want the video to run for too long so I'm literally going to just show you the front cover of them and nothing else if that's alright. And again these aren't in any order because I haven't put them in an order to be honest. So some of these are Angel Comics as you can see, some of these are Angel and Faiths which is of course my favourite series. Some of them are Buffy Comics but they are mainly the older comics, I don't really have any other newer ones. And I do have another one which isn't here at the moment because it's in my autograph collection and it's uh, another comic signed by the author. I believe it's signed by Christopher Golden but I can't remember. Some very striking covers here as you can see. This one was the one that was given out for free comic book day and I unfortunately couldn't get, uh, well we didn't have a free comic book day here so I know someone went and picked this out for me and I can't remember who it was. It was either Daniel, Mark or Ian, I think it was one of you three but I can't remember who kindly got this and sent this over to me but thank you to whoever it was. I love this one in particular because it looks like an old uh, like Batman style comic. We're nearly there with these. <laughs> I love that cover. So I must admit I haven't read all of these but I've read quite a fair few of them. Some of them came from my dad's collection as well so that's all the comics. Next up we have this big box which has a load of magazines in it so I'll try and go through these as quickly as I can as well. So we have the SFX 20 Years of Buffy magazine, a brilliant one, Dreamwatch and another and again I can remember a lot of these um, magazines came from a local store who was doing a sale and I got a load of these for an amazing price. So these are a load of Dreamwatch magazines. Another SFX, it's the same magazine just with a slightly different cover. This is a French, uh, no German, sorry, a German magazine which I bought from someone on a Buffy group. Sorry, I'm trying to get through them as quickly as I can. A Toy Fair magazine which I bought from the same person in a Buffy group. It's a lovely one that is. Then we have some of the official Buffy the Vampire Slayer magazines, but I don't have all of them. It wasn't something I ever collected. I think I was too young to start collecting them, really. I can't remember when they came out, actually. We have a Scooby-Doo magazine, two Scooby-Doo magazines, actually, which are in here because of Sarah Michelle Gellar. I figured it was a good way to keep them safe. This one's got a few bits in it. A few stickers or something. Another Scooby-Doo. I just thought, seeing as it's Sarah Michelle Gellar, they might as well be in here. Oh, I'm knackered doing this, honestly. <laughs> Again, I think all these cult times came from that same place where I got a load of them for a really cheap price. This one too. This oh, SFX. That feels quite heavy. Is there something in there? Or oh, a random uh, CD in the back there, nothing to do with Buffy. <laughs> I'm amazed it's still got the CD, to be fair. And finally this one. So that's all my Buffy magazines. Apologies that this video is quite long, but we have a couple of posters here. I'm not going to unroll them because it will take too long. But this one is a limited edition poster signed by David Boreanaz. I think I've shown that in an autograph video before, so I'm not going to show it now because it will just take too long. Then I have four uh, VHS tape sets. Season 2, episodes 1 to 11. Season 2, episodes 12 to 22. Season 3, episodes 1 to 11. And finally, season 5, episodes 1 to 11. I would love a complete set of the VHSs, but unfortunately, unless someone in your area has them, postage is just far too expensive. I also have a couple of posters that I haven't managed to get up yet. So this one, which I got from my local Comic-Con, and this laminated one, which I've had for years, absolute years. And also the 20 Years of Slaying Sunnydale High School one. Again, I can't really uh, open that out for you, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, moving on. We're nearly there, I promise. We have my Rock Candies and Funko Pops and some miscellaneous things here. So we'll start here. So this came in a Geek Gear or Loot Crate, bo Loot Crate box. I can't remember which box this came in because I didn't actually buy the box. A local seller was selling this, so I thought I would take it because it's just adorable. 
We have my only Buffy statue. I wish I had more. This is the Varna statue of the Master. It is incredible, but it's very, very delicate, and it's very thin, uh, very thin, very light. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was, but incredibly fragile. We have my Willow rock candy and my Buffy rock candy. Now, this isn't a complete set of Buffy Pops, but I'm hoping to have one in the future. So we have the Battle Damage Buffy. I don't have the regular. Willow and Spike. This is part of the first wave. The Gentleman, Oz. And that's it for the first wave. So off the top of my head, I am missing Vampire Willow, Vampire Spike, the normal Buffy, and I think, oh no, 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 the Buffy, Angel and Spike three pack. And I think that's the whole first wave. I don't know if I'm missing anybody. Then the second and final wave so far is the Prophecy Girl Buffy, Xander, out of order here, but Dark Willow, Giles, and of course my darling Faith. And then I have the Buffy and Faith two pack as well. So I'm missing, oh, let me see if I can remember, the Spike, uh, Xander with the eye patch, and the Buffy and, is it Vampire Buffy and Vampire Angel? Something like that. So not too many, but enough. <laughs> and then I have two Titans figures here, the uh, Bloody Vampire Spike and the regular Vampire Spike. And a couple of calendars, which I can't really get out at the moment. But we have 2001 to 2002, we have 2003, sorry I can't show them, but quite frankly I'm knackered, 2005, I think these all came from the same seller, again from a Buffy group, 2006 and 2014, and my Buffy poster up there as well, I adore that photo shoot. So we are down to the final two shelves, or rather one and a half shelves. I might as well show you the bottom because not a lot of this is Buffy stuff. So this bottom here, which you, I realise you can't see at all, is just miscellaneous vampire things. But I do have the Buffy reflection figures here. So Oz, Willow, Buffy, The Gentleman and Spike. I'm only missing Angel from that set. And they are bloody awful, to be honest. <laughs> Let me bring Spike out. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they are awful but they're buffy aren't they you've, you've just got to have them you've got to have them but they're shockingly bad <laughs> so yeah i'm just missing angel from that uh set so here i have my toy fair exclusive buffy i love her these buffy pictures which i brought from a comic-con these drawings they're absolutely gorgeous so we have buffy and spike now aren't they stunning unfortunately i cannot remember the name of the seller but if anybody knows who drew these please remind me and please let me know because i would love more they are just oh my god they're incredible aren't they i have this very old buffy phone case which i'm pretty sure was given to me by claire a tin of the buffy sweets and if i open it for you if i can do it one-handed wish me luck <laughs> i can't oh i can the sweets are still in there. They are mini steaks. I wouldn't recommend eating them now, though. <laughs> I have a couple of Buffy pins. This one that says evil. This Xander pin, which I actually wore when I met Nicholas Brendan, and he commented on it. And this Slayer pin with a knife. This Faith peg. Now, years and years and years ago, there was a lady who made these peg dolls. She also made me a Bellatrix and a Tonks from Harry Potter. Now, she doesn't rate her work very much, but I think they're really, really cool, and I really like them. We have a Clada ring. So this technically has nothing to do with Buffy. This is my own personal Clada ring. I have two Clada rings, uh, but I keep it here in the collection. I used to wear it all the time. I have Irish heritage, so I used to wear it for its intended purpose. Um, however, I don't really wear it anymore. Um, so I just stick it in the Buffy collection. And we have these earrings, which I don't think you can see very well, but they are cross earrings. They are official Buffy earrings, but I just don't have the backing for them. We have this Buffy the Vampire Slayer trading card game. Uh, playing cards, sorry. Not trading cards, playing cards. This was in my local shop that closed down, so I actually got this for 50% off. So I think they were a fiver, something like that, for the pair. I have some more of those sugar puff things, this time unsealed. A Buffy the Vampire Slayer pencil case. Now, I don't know if this came with a pen or with a watch. I know they used this particular pencil case for a few things, didn't they? But mine, unfortunately, is empty. We have a couple of my pride and joys. We have this unpainted Oz pre-production sample. There's only 2,500 of them in the world. I got these for very cheap. And a Giles pre-production sample, limited to 2,500 pieces. These are just incredible. I'm super, super, super happy to own these. 
I have this random Slayer come out and die. It's a bit beat up because it used to be on my wall. We have the last of my books, so we have Stranger to the Sun. This one is special because it is signed by Alexis Denisov, Wesley. We have Revenant, Deep Water, Avatar. Now again, this one is very special because if you open it up, you have a certificate of authenticity. And this one is actually signed by David Boreanaz. So I'm really, really happy to own this one. We have the quotable Slayer I showed you earlier that I had this in soft cover. This is the hardback. Resurrecting Ravana, The Xander Years, Volume 1, Angel Love and Death, and Children of the Hunt, or Child of the Hunt, sorry. And that's all my Buffy books. So I don't actually know how many I'm missing, but I do know that someone in one of the Buffy groups actually put a full list of all the Buffy books. So I'm really going to have to go through that at one point. I have four Buffy CDs. So we have Radio Sunnydale. The season, what is it, season one or two, this one? Oh no, this is not. This is images from the show. So you get images, a vampire trivia, a calendar, a screensaver and a jigsaw puzzle. So it's not actually a CD, it's like a CD-ROM. Um, this one is the uh, album, Buffy the Vampire Say the Album. And of course, once more with feeling, I listen to this all the time. <laughs> so I, again, I don't actually know how many Buffy CDs were made, but I only own these ones. Moving on, I don't really want to take them out, but we have my box set. So we have the complete box set there, season one, season two, a gap where season three should be because it's downstairs because we're watching it, season four, season five, season six, season seven, and season seven. I've got season seven again because it's new and sealed. Um, unfortunately, my box sets don't match, but I don't mind. And then we have Angel, season one, season two, season three, season four, season four again, new and sealed, season five. The best of Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. And we're on to the last shelf, you'll be pleased to know. And uh, I don't know how well you can see these, but they're all DVDs. So we have Fred, Faith, of course, my favourite, uh, Spike. These are just like episodes that they were in, like little episodes, tidbits of episodes. Um, Cordelia, oh, come on, here we go, Spike, Angel and Willow box set, come on you, trying to get these back on one handed is a nightmare, <laughs> Xander, Wesley, come on you, Buffy the movie, again, the only other Buffy memorabilia I own apart from the uh, book when it comes to the original film. I just don't know. <laughs> Dawn, of course, once more with feeling, the holy grail of Buffy things. <laughs> the season eight motion comic, which I actually haven't uh, watched yet. So I need to get on that. And then we have a load of the DVDs that came with the magazines. I don't have a complete collection. So I have episode one, two, four of season one. Uh, and when you put all these together, they make a picture, but I don't have all of them. Episodes 5 and 8, or 5 to 8 of series 4 at 1. I'm getting confused now. Episodes 9 to 12 of series 1. Episodes 13 to... No, 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 I'm wrong. Episodes 1 to 4 of season 2. Episodes 13 to 16 of season 2. That one's new and sealed. And just a few more. I'm getting confused, so I'm not going to say what they are. I'll just show you what they are. As you can see, a lot of these are sealed. Uh, they're just eBay purchases or charity shop purchases. I don't really need to open them because I've got the box sets, like I said. So they're just for collectible purposes. And I've got one for Angel. And the last things are the video games. So we've got Chaos Bleeds on PlayStation 2, my favourite. Chaos Bleeds on Xbox. What a wonderful game. And then the original Buffy game on Xbox. Next up we have my figures. So I can't really show you very well, unfortunately, because I'm far too short. But we have Drusilla, Buffy, um, Vampire Willow, Spike, Anya, the Master, Dala, Willow, um, Anyonka, Faith, my second um, ornament, which is Cordelia, and right down the bottom there, we have Oz in his uh, baby t-shirt and Faith. And then a couple of these ones. So we have Willow, the Master, 
uh, Angel and one of the Johnny Lightning cars. And we are very nearly finished. I just have a couple of clothing items to show you. So I have this Buffy the Vampire Sire jumper. And this is a very recent purchase, but I can't remember where it was from. H&M, possibly? I can't remember. We have this t-shirt, which is definitely too small for me now, but I just can't bear to throw it away. This t-shirt, me and Ian both bought one of these at MCON. So yeah, we got matching Buffy t-shirts, as well as matching Buffy tattoos. <laughs> And this t-shirt, which unfortunately has a hole in it. And I'll just show you the back of this one because it's the only one. There's something on the back. So the final thing to show you is my Buffy autographs. And I will zip through these very, very quickly because we are running out of time here. So we have this preprint. James Masters, Nicholas Brendan. Nicholas Brendan, David Boreanaz, David Boreanaz. I think that's a preprint. Uh, Robin Atkin Downs. Juliet Landau, Juliet Landau. Anthony Head. Armin Shimmerman, Anthony Head, Alison Hannigan preprint, Sarah Michelle Geller preprint, Clea Duval, Charisma Carpenter, don't know if that's a preprint or not, Araceli, and again, oh, Bruno Gunn, no. yes, Bruno Gunn, this is a Hunger Games picture, but he was a brigand in Buffy, Eliza Dushku preprint, um, Fina Arucci, I don't know if I say that right, but she played Olivia, we have, oh, I forgot his name, James something, but Clem, um, Mercedes McNabb, this is a James Masters, we have a Sophia Crawford here, this is the comic I was talking about, another James Masters, Caroline Lagerfeld, I think that's how you say it, um, oh no, Warren, I can't remember his name, Seth Green, all three of the trio, Danny Strong, Tom Link, and is it Adam Boosh or something like that? Uh, Eliza Dushku, one of my favourites, uh, Nick Brandon again, and that's my picture when I met him, uh, Emma Caulfield, and my picture when I met her, we have Clayne Crawford, which Daniel kindly got for me, uh, Indigo, uh, Camden Toy, Amber Benson, uh, Kristen Sutherland, Amber Benson, uh, Claire Kramer, and a couple of trading cards there, and another Clem. So sorry I flicked through them very quickly, but I appreciate the video is, is very long. Ignore the mess on the carpet, I'm getting it fixed. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye!